I'm here for the shareholders' meeting. Right on schedule. First order of business, are we still on for jelly jam sandwiches at six? I'm warming them up in my hat right now, using brain power. Jelly jam! Good. Well, that's all I have. Any new business with you? Mm, I found this dumb baby. Ow. A dumb baby? Who's dumb baby? I don't know. It was just on the ground being stupid, so I picked it up. <coughs> we'll be your dads until we find your actual dumb parents. Dumb babies are expensive and bad for business. How can we turn this crisis around? Don't ask me. You're the business cat. Yes, I am the business cat. We should invest money in the baby for future gains. Here. Put these dollars in his mouth. Is it generating any profit? Ooh, it's generating something. Ooh. This is no good. One might say this is the opposite of good. Do you think the baby's evil? Since the arrival of this baby, our liquid assets have plunged 80,000%. If this trend continues, we will have infinitely negative liquid assets by the end of the quarter. Douglas, go find that voodoo baby's parents before it ruins the business or I'll dispose of it myself. But where are they? That was good, but you're coming in with the beats too early. Wait for the arpeggios. Haunted baby incoming! <laughs> <laughs> Wendy, you drop babies harder than your robot thing drops fat beats. What are you doing with a baby? Finding it a home. Is it yours? Uh, no. <laughs> it's cute. And sticky. It got its grubby mitts into my jelly jam. Jelly jam! Getting babies all sticky! Wait, why do you think it's mine? You can give up the charade, Wendy. Business Cat told me all about your baby prison. Please don't call my uterus a baby prison. <laughs> ah, don't shoot! I'll confess government secrets! Douglas, I purchased this expensive tank to protect us from financial bankruptcy. Coincidentally, we are now bankrupt, and it's that baby's fault. Deliver it to that baby daddy, or baby mama, or both. Maybe deliver it to inside this tank gun. I'm voting against the tank gun idea. Well, I'm voting for it twice. No tank guns, business cat. I motion for an emergency shareholders meeting. Motion granted. You may enter the tank. Sorry, Wendy. Shareholders only. You owe me like $12, business cat, which means I basically own most of the business. No girls. Ooh. <laughs> wow, it's really hot and muggy in here. Yep. Enough of this nonsense. We can't afford having this baby around any longer. It needs a home that isn't the ground. We should take care of it. If you don't lose that baby, I'll lose that baby for you. You'll have to get through me first, Catman. <laughs> Looks like somebody's closing for a Bruce. <laughs> The kid's stomach is growling. Do you have any baby food on you? Like mushy fruit preserves? Mushy fruit! Mushy fruit preserves? What? We can't find your parents, but we can't afford to feed you our jelly jam. It's just too precious a commodity. Well, I guess this is... Goodbye. Here's a knife in case any hobos give you trouble. Listen, baby. Forge your own path into the future. Rely on yourself. You know, a lot of babies with missing parents become totally rad adults. So, do that. Grow up and be rad. Let it go, Douglas. It's a baby of the rails now. It's free. This isn't right. We should have raised him as our own. Douglas, that baby's safer on the rails than with us. We'd make terrible parents. I did toss him around like a football. I gave that kid my shanking knife. Do you know how irresponsible that was? With us out of the equation, that baby has a slightly higher probability of being just fine. Terrible parents! They gave a knife to a baby! Uh, we forgot to turn the tank off. Let's eat jelly jam first. Worry about the murder tank later. Those knuckleheads broke my rainbow! It's a damn shame.
job. Let's do something fun. Ugh. Is that sunlight? Ah, oh, come on, Bob. You need to get out of My eyes! Ah, oh, I'm blind! Don't grow back. Hey, look, Bob. It's that guy that hates you. Hey, moron! <laughs> Here's your mail! Thanks, Derek. Okay, moron. Next time I'll be throwing them in the lake, along with your stupid flying dog. you like over there? Where? Yeah, yeah. Go and talk to her. Okay. Hello. I like your dress. What are you doing? Well, I don't know, Rocket Dog. She's not even listening to a word I'm saying. Just go up to her and ask her out already. I know. I'll show her all the pictures you took of her. Just dig photography. No, 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 no! She'll think I'm some sort of psycho. Claire's special. I have to wait for the right moment to ask her out. Okay. Rocket Dog, what did you do? I took a photo. <gasps> no! <laughs> you can't see her knickers. <laughs> right there. Aw, oh, cheer up, Bob. We'll get you a new girlfriend. See that girl over there? Tell her. What? You're not actually saying anything. All right, fine. I'll go and ask her. Did you do it? She actually said yes. Friday! <laughs> doing, Bob? Hmm? Oh, just recalling the events from last night. New girlfriend won't answer her phone. I've been trying all day. I killed her! Oh, I was just beginning to like her. Actually, she's right over there. Ha ha! I was just kidding when I said I killed her. She's only sedated. Because you can't spell date without sedate! What the hell is wrong with you? You should probably get her out of the doorway, because everyone can see. Hey, moron! Oh, hi, Derek. <laughs> happens to be my brother. Hi, Bob! Gertrude, don't hang around this guy. He's a loser. Okie doke. You're dead. Ew. Her name was Gertrude? <laughs> Dodged a bullet there. Huh, Rocket Dog? <laughs> no, Rocket Dog! Save us from the neon Nazis! Slam! Pump! Woo! <laughs> 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 <laughs>
cocksuckers! <laughs> You're funny, Ace. You're funny. God damn it, turn that shit off. What? No! Come on, man! It's movie night. Movie night. Movie night. Oh, movie, movie night! Movie night. And I let you pick again. Yeah! yeah. And you pick this. Again. Oh, come on, man. This is great. You got the lines. You got the chicks. I got a beaten up old piece of shit spaceship and a retard shouting in my ear. Well, what do you want to watch? Otherwise. Robot Dirty Dancing. Ah! Oh, come on, that's a cinema classic. It's a total robot flick. Hey, hey. You want a good line? No. Nobody puts robot baby in the corner. Robot baby in the corner. Ah! Ah! Sucks! Dragon Jack, outside, now. Bring the captain. Suck it. Oh, Jet, what happened to the ship? We just crashed, Captain. Didn't you feel it? I'm drunk, Jet. I am drunk. We hit an asteroid field. Our faithful service droid stuck his dick in the autopilot. Man, she was asking for it! It's gonna take a while to fix. Warp drive fried, hull breached, fuel cells low. Fuel cells! Sounds like a job for an adventurer. Right, Jack? The volcano, Ace! There's always fuel in a volcano. Captain, I really don't think it's wise. Okay, see ya, Jet! So how'd you know so much about volcanoes? I've been reading the Space Adventures Handbook. When did you learn how to read? Last week. You know, you were in hypersleep. I blacked out in the shower, Jack. Let's not sugarcoat it. Chapter 2, subsection F, states that every volcano contains at least one alien society with one or more crystals of power. Oh, yeah. Hey, Ace. <laughs> you want some? Nope. <laughs> Aren't you gonna get your gun out, Ace? There could be monsters down here. You didn't finish that chapter, did you? Canyons have monsters. Volcanoes always have sexy chicks. Icebergs of dudes. Greetings, heroes. Thou hast journeyed long. Now, choose your reward. Here lies the Galaxy Crystal, the most powerful energy source in the universe. And here, our sensual boudoir, where we... We ain't sticking our wieners in any chicks made of fire. Right, Jackie? Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Take it off, huh? Oh, God. Hold it right there, you got it. What the fuck? Captain, you're back. And with a rock. Come on, we're out of here. <laughs> okay, that ought to do it. Now, you're gonna have to keep that surgical skirt on for two weeks. Or oh, do your best to avoid open flames. And if you've gotta touch yourself, just try to just touch your balls, okay? Looks like you skipped the chapter on extreme temperature intercourse. Yeah, well. At least I saw some tits. Although I think looking at them may have given me retina damage. Plus, one of them stepped on my nads. Your cock's looking at me. Ace Discovery! I got fired today. I jaywalk, but I can't afford getting a ticket. No. Change, you stupid wife.
Come here, dog. Huh. Gah. 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 I'm such a loser. Ooh. My guts, my guts. Coming. Hey. Hey, Deckard. I heard you lost your job. Oh, uh, yeah. Too bad I can't make a career out of getting fired, right? And be like a CEO or a manager. Which one's more impressive? President? Are you gonna be okay? <gasps> oh my god! Oh, oh my god! Ah, uh, wait! Oh, uh, uh, I have uh, I stuff for your stuff! I got you some ice for your crotch! I'm shoving the crotch ice under the door! Oh, you're awake. Wanna split a casserole? Ah, oh, hello. Well, well. Make me feel so sad. Ah, my dream! Ah, you were there! Ah, lasagna's gone! Hmm? Ah, I'm late! Ah! Ah! Voila! Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, you have no documentable skills. You didn't manage to finish schooling past high school. Work history, spotty, at best. This is a temp agency, not a charity. We... Hello? Uh-huh. No. I didn't know that he had a peanut allergy. Okay, well, you know, if, if it's just a little bit of swelling, then, then just get him away from the peanuts, and, and it'll be over in about a half hour. Otherwise, call an ambulance. Thank you. Yeah, bye. You took too long. Now your candy's gone. That's what happened. Bugow! Uh, no, thank you. Hey, dude, I got you presents. Pet store I used to work at is going out of business. <laughs> Lucky us. So, let me see. I got you a bone and wrapped a toy mouse around it, a blanket, eggplant pillow, dog food, cat food, shampoo, a leash, and rain boots. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Crap, I ran out of food money. Relax, man, I'm not gonna eat your food. Hitting. There better not be anything scary cryptic written in here. I will scream so loud and then totally lose my marbles. Uh, pretty stationary, though. Dear puppy cat, is that you? Please report to Fishbowl Space for temp work. Sign below. Oh, let me get you a pen. Ah! Hello? Hello? Anybody here? I've been left behind. I'm all alone. Am I not good enough?
coming. Welcome, puppy cat. You look different. And hello, unrecognized intruder. Unfortunately, due to increased security measures, you must now be incinerated. Oh. Whoa! Hey, you talk! Kind of. Oh, like a trainee shadow. Welcome. Initiating uniform assignment. No. No, 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 no! I don't like this outfit! Please proceed to fishbowl space. Let me know when you're done. Um, what are we doing? Hi, Wallace. What's wrong? I miss my mama. She's been gone forever. Aww. Weep, sip, 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 weep, weep, hum, hum, love, ho, ho. Do you want something to drink? No, thank you. You want a snack? No. You want a nap? No. He's so sad. Hey, hey! Pop, pop, pop. Can I have a story? And then what? That's your ending? That's awful and very interesting. I knew it was you, pretending it's just a fairy tale, lying to children, making him look up to a hero, uh... who in reality is just an awful monster. sharp on my couch. Woo! Ugh. Wow! Hey! Cat Ash! Whoa, thank you! And thanks for not letting Tempbot burn me up. I think I'm gonna use my money to get Deckard a casserole since he bought me a casserole. What you using your money for? Oh, ignoring me again? Fine. I liked your fairy tale puppy cat. If you want, I can help you figure out a nice ending. What 
big eyes you have, the better to mace you with. Oh, just need to shake it up. <laughs> Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey, man. Uh, um, do you want some? Um, it's cold cuts, fresh baked pie. It's, this relish is homemade, I think. It's great. <laughs> How long have you been like this? Well, that is not good. Afternoon. I'm Dr. Lollipop. What's wrong with him? No clue. Right. Bertolese, his chart, please. Mr. Rar. Uh, may I call you Mr. Rar? <laughs> Please. Mr. Popcorn Gumball Sprinkles is my father. You may call me Dr. Lollipop. Or Dr. LOL, but only on weekends. My gut tells me to listen to your gut. Bertolese? Help me. It's so dark. I can just make it through the large intestines. How am I free? You're not cool. Don't be a hero. <laughs> I have made my diagnosis. You have rumblies in your tumblies. <gasps> Mr. Rar, the reason for your persistent tummy aches is a direct result of your diet. Talking animals wreak havoc on the digestive system. Judging from your current state, I'd say you've eaten quite a few. <laughs> no, shush, 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 shush. This doctor prescribes emergency surgery. <laughs> Not to worry. <laughs> For I am no ordinary unicorn. I am a unicorn doctor! Nurse Crackers! Yes, doctor? Prepare for surgery. Oh, goody. Will I be using the bird anesthetic or reptile? Well, paleontologists have debated that subject. Crackers! Mr. Rar, no snacks for you before surgery. <laughs> <laughs> but there will be snacks for us. Coco, bring in the snack tray. Super Magical Rainbow! <laughs> Nurse Crackers, fetch me my surgical tools. Bertolese, I need you to go get Dr. You-Know-Who. <laughs> Just go! Now then, I need you to know this is a very delicate surgery. Hooves were not fashioned for the type of incision work needed. Therefore, I've called for an extra pair of hands. Let's cut this turkey open. Coco, what are you thinking? You're only a resident. Right. May I introduce Dr. Woodsman? <gasps> oh, my. Oh, that man is crazy handsome. That's no man. That's a doctor. <laughs> yeah, whatever. He's very attractive. Not like he's a unicorn. Now, what seems to be the Blackjacks and Sassafras? That carnivorous Cretaceous cassowary is full of woodland dwellers. Oh, look. You brought your friend Dr. Obvious, and he brought his friend Dr. Fun Facts About Dinosaurs. And you brought your friend Dr. Hazelhorn. Dr. Obvious living up to his name. Dr. Lollipop living up to his name, which is uh, Dr. Lollipop. Bernerlees, scrub us up. Just prick your finger on this anesthesia needle and count backwards from 100. <laughs> the crystal ball reads and his vitals are stable. Let's get medical! Dr. Woodsman, commence with the incision. What is happening? I almost chopped my hand off in here. I'm so scared. Uh, Dr. Woodsman, what's wrong? There's widow animals in there. What if I hurt them? We have to act now, or we'll lose this raptor! Oh. His vitals are slipping. Then Dr. Woods would do something! Screw those lovable woodlanders. Finish the job, man! This is a hack job! Well, I do hack for a living. <laughs> we are losing him! That's it! Mr. Rar, allow me to stomp your guts out. Super Magical Rainbow Kick! <laughs> Open your eyes, Mr. Roar. How do you feel? Hello, widow squirty woody. Ew, I can't believe I liked you. Mr. Roar, I understand you've recently emigrated here, but you're having trouble adapting. 
We have some informative pamphlets, learning to speak mammal, and who not to eat, a carnivore's guide to magical creatures. They be a-talking, you keep a-walking. Well, team, another medical miracle. Until the next time the sick come a-callin'. Oh, no. Or defenseless animals get a-maulin'. Don't do the thing right this now. This is Doctor Side. Is your internet working? Yup. I mean, no. Mine's still working, friends. What the hell is that? Just some art. <laughs> Barney, you fish, go fix the internet. My followers are gonna think I've died. Yes, ma'am! Why is the internet router in the attic, anyways? How the hell should I know? I'm not Shakespeare. If we got rid of all these candles and Ouija boards, this could make a nice den. Huh? Aha! There you are, you boxy bastard! What did we even do before the internet? Go outdoors. Ew, don't be disgusting. Hey, TV! I swear, you used to be able to watch TV shows on the television. Amazing! Okay, are you ready? I am, thank you. Ugly, what if the house we moved into was haunted? It might explain the wallpaper. This is going to take all of my technical know-how. Work, computer! Uh, I'm sorry, Internet. Ah! <laughs> I'm free! Oh, Lord, I'm free! Hey, are you the god of the Internet or something? <laughs> god of the Internet, you crack me up! How stupid can you get? I'm not the god of the Internet. He is! L-O-L. Darling, you can call me Pauline. I'd love to stop and chit-chat, but I got a body to possess. You see, dead end's mine. I was haunting it before you installed your woo-foo and trapped me in the internet. <laughs> now it's my turn to have those pretty little buns yours. Rest in peace, darling! Wait, come back here! <laughs> oh, oh, it is good to be home. <laughs> mm. I gotta own this booty or it is gonna own me. Don't worry, Norma. If it's legitimate haunting, the house has a way of shutting that whole thing down. Yes! <gasps> I... I... Uh, all right. I'll fix the internet. I have lost three followers. This is the worst day of my life. I've never been this bored on the internet. Hey! God of the internet? Yes, my noob. I want to get offline. Where should I go? That way leads to the domain of the bare naked ladies. That's not what I'm looking for. Then the domain of the bare naked gentlemen is that way. <laughs> Maybe later, but I need to get off the internet. Like now! Offline! Back in our own! No results found. Oh, for God's sake! The internet can't be that big. <laughs> I'll never get out of here. There must be nearly a hundred websites on the internet. No way. Huxley! Huxley! I'm trapped in the internet! Norma, guess what? Barney's trapped on the internet. Ugh, classic Barney. Wait, what? There's a ghost living in my body. You have to get her out of there! Hey guys, it's me, Barney. You can have your buns back! <laughs> Guys, it's me, Barney! Guys, she's escaping! Yeah. I'll say a naughty word. Quick, she's buffering! Death punch! Oh. 
We killed her. Yeah, she was dumb. She deserved it. But we'll murder us. Guys, shut up. We can finally sleep at night now. We solved the mystery of Dead End. Today. No fun, and I'm bored as heck. It's because there's nothing to do in this whole city to look. Yes, this is it. Two for Chainsaw Richard. Twenty bucks, kid. Uh, Tiny Ghost, you've got money, right? Right? Dang. We could just see it when it comes out on video. No, no, TG. I'm seeing this movie tonight. If it's the last thing I do. Nothing can stop me! Ramses, what are you doing? There's gotta be a way to sneak in, man. Help me look. But that's illegal. What if Jail finds out? T-Ghost, listen. Inside this cinema, right now, is a man. A possibly burly man named Richard. And you know what he's got? A chainsaw. A chainsaw. Possibly chainsaws. I want to see a burly man with chainsaws. Do you want to see a burly man with chainsaws? Okay, okay. We just need to find a way in. Aha! Do you think we can fit through there? Uh... Oh, yeah. Well, do you think I could fit? Uh, yeah, sure, man. Wait, what are you doing in there? Shh, I'm watching the movie. No way! Wait for me! Ah, uh, 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 gross! How far away is the theater? Chainsaws! Dude with chainsaws! So gross! How much farther? Did you get to the wall yet? The wall? Ah! Dang it! How am I supposed to get up there? Hush, dude, this is serious. Richard just got orders to save the president's hot girlfriend. No way! Did they show the chainsaw yet? No, not yet. All right, I've still got time. Chainsaw, 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 chainsaw! Ugh! Gross! What's up? This air duct is leaking gross slime! <laughs> oh my god! What? What? Hunky McBuff guy just made a cameo. But, but, he's such a hunk. I'm seeing this movie no matter what! <laughs> Yeah. Okay, just watch out for the spider queen. The what? <laughs> Tiny ghost, how did you get past this thing? Just float around it, dude. Worked for me. I'm not a ghost! Oh yeah, haha. <laughs> Fight it or something, dude. I think they're gonna show the chainsaw soon. is terrible. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, when did you get here? Huh? I guess I must have suffocated to death back there in that vent. He's gonna be fine. Thank God. What a lawsuit that would have been. What's wrong with you, kid? What's the matter with you, Mr. Temple of Doom Air Ducts? 
Get that thing fixed, or I'm coming back and taking you downtown. And you're lucky I'm not taking you to jail right now, kid. Keep your adventuring at home, okay? Hey, you okay, man? Yeah, thanks for saving my butt. But, you know, I could have used it earlier. Yeah, sorry. I guess I was distracted by the awesome might of a big-budget Hollywood movie. Forgive me? Yeah, we're cool. I guess you did end up having an adventure after all, huh? <laughs> I guess you're right. Nothing. Writing poetry. Oh, yeah. Writing poetry. All right, well, stop that and help Daddy for a sec. Your brother Skinny Ripped is MIA. What? What happened? Well, he was en route to destroy a rival god planet thing named Eyes No Eyes when I lost contact. I'm uploading coordinates. Okay, are you getting that? Yep. Get your brother and take care of Eyes No Eyes. And don't mess this up like usual, Manly. Oh, uh, what? Can he say that? Oh, yeah, Dad, what the heck? Whoa, your poems. I always do missions good. Just don't disappoint me. Like when you were born and you turned out to be a girl. Emperor Ari Man, out! He's rude. Come on, hop in, Nimbus. Let's go get my brother. What happened? What? Manly? Something happened during my teleport. I don't know what any of this stuff is. What is that? Is it asleep? It looks dead. This is upsetting me. Oh, maybe I can zom it back to Dad's base and reset my body. Tag. Yo, look out. There's people. What? Uh-oh. Who's that? Skinny Rip? Hey, I made it. Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh! Whoa! Oh, my God! Yo, Manly, tell your daddy it's stuff. Eyes no eyes is our god now, you twang. You killed them all. How do you feel? All right, I guess, but what is the deal with this planet, right? Is it alive? All planets are alive. But can I punch it or what? Uh, let me see. I just got these so I could feel more insightful. See? <laughs> I don't know. Whoa, snap! Who's that? I can feel you. Who what is it? What's what? You said, oh, snap, like you saw something. I can't remember. Why are you lying to me? Because sometimes you gotta lie to people. Give me those things. Nah. What the? Come on! <sighs> Look it, you don't know these guys. Maybe they're nice guys. Yeah, sure, maybe. I'm worried about you. Well, okay, but you know this is my thing, right? Doing nasty stuff for Dad, so I can be like Dad. You know, great. He's not so great. What's greater than being the one true emperor god of the universe? How about being a super good poet or a badass drawer like you are? Let me see the glasses. All right. But these dead dudes will have another go at you in the next life, you hear? Nah, it's cool. They'll figure it out. Whoa. Whoa! Hello? Who's there? It's me, Manly. Hey, so if you're trying to tell me something, I can't see or hear you. I can feel you. It's bumming me out, I gotta be honest. She's working on it. Hey! What? We're all working on it. No, I mean, you can still see it? Yeah. I guess I can't unsee it. I almost recognize it from somewhere. Me too, right? Like I saw this pattern when I was spacing out in the shower one time? Where'd you get these glasses, Nimbus? Mm. Why are you being all mystery-ish? Step inside me so I can get to know you. Manly, daughter of Ariman. You want to destroy me because your spirit is soft like a doo-doo cloud. At my moment of death, I'll see your face and giggle. At my moment of death, moment of death, 
you see abstract blobs i can't really make sense of it how many dimensions is this three. Oh, that's why all right uh skinny ripped you made it man of course i made it did you destroy the thing yeah but there was some kind of mirror with a hat in my mind what's that now there was a tree i don't care about trees peace out okay peace out i'm glad you didn't die Hey, Nimbus, you want to hear about my vision? Nimbus? Dear God of vision, all bloodied and small by my side. Your powers and wisdom will be left to this world, but it's time that you do die. Please harbor no evil or bitter resenting this woman. She's caused you such torture and horrible pain, but there must be a reason why. Space cruise in this X90 rudeness? Is this my life or some hyper tight ultra TV fantasy? Affirmative, bro. This unit aches to outrad some lesser beings. Mark 16? Yes. Ooh, wait, dude. Look at this prime knob pulling in. Lay some of your burns on him, man. Composing burns. Ready. Bro, your loser vehicle is damaging the value of all organic life. This unit's assessment is that you should terminate your own existence. <laughs> ha, 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 ha. <laughs> oh, crap. It's that one Astromagus. Bro, he's been running this whole sector with his nasty magics. Are you pukes flexing on my van? <laughs> on my turf? I suppose your sass mouth is justified by that luscious ride, eh? <laughs> Just look at it. But it even smells great inside. Critical air. This unit beseeches you, bro. Perhaps some odomancy will teach you mune pukes who smells the most fine in this neighborhood. <laughs> right, space bear. Well, see, perplexulo, if I recollect. Unregistered Astro Magus number 9K421, double alpha probation. Bah! Last I saw of you was that junk about making pan dimensional pizza places smell like rude dog smells. I'll have that beard of yours this time, friend. Two bit bounty barber, your cyber science is no match for my perplexing powers. Step up, scrub. Hey, Frog Team, be a pal and get me a grape slush o while I trim this guy. Ew, grape? Oh, dang no. Come on, I don't need this. You can't even afford a slush o Aren't you bounty hunting to pay for community college? Man, mind your own financials. What is your major, fish husbandry? <laughs> You're a bear. Fine arts. And I'm surely not expecting you to grasp the subtleties My of the... <laughs> Hippie. Alert, you are getting dumped on at critical levels. Respect at 70% and falling. Now you all done and made me passionate about some violence. I cast PP on level five. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> denied. It's like being hit by a sweaty waterbed. <laughs> Check this out. Can't think. <laughs> Bathe in the ancestral stakes of your peoples. 
such peace. I am romping so hard. How did I turn my back on romping? Welcome back, chum. Mm -hmm. This, this is older mancy trickery. My nose knows better than this. You know the deal, son. Dad? Nuh-uh, don't dad me. Enough of this cyber science and fine arts major foolheadedness. Get back here pronto. Scratch your buttocks on the ancestral pines. Never, never again. This is the price of progress. Impossible! Such courage and strength of will! That's a fact, you stanky old wizard. No matter. I'll just have to whoop you with superior biceps. Hey My pins and needles pistol will make your legs feel like you sat on a potty far too long. This is so unpleasant. Curse you, Space Bear! You will pay dearly for every magical whisker you defile. <laughs> Mayhap so, but so long as the whisker weavers of Palpex Prime keep paying by the nano ounce, well... <laughs> Figures, beer's ripe with dog's mail. <laughs> Farewell, bear person. Bro, those dinguses all leave? Bear guy forgot his gross great slusho. Whatevs though, right? I'm so tired of this place. Let's get to cruising. Negative. Bro. Oh, it's everywhere. Deep in the forgotten woods, a decaying estate stands as a dark monument to a fallen family empire. I've come to this house through desperation, but I stay because of fear. My name is Josette Gray, and I am the maid of Blackford Manor. <coughs> what a house. Big, empty, dark. <sighs> Sir Montague? Cabbage soup. It looks yummy. Funny, I realized today that I've never actually seen the master of the house. I know he must be a very busy man, but doesn't Sir Montague ever come home? Oh, he's here in the house, all right. Oh, good. I should tidy up his room then. Uh, no need. The master shouldn't be disturbed. He's feeling under the weather these days. Yes, sir. Uh, right away, sir. <laughs> Oops, what a mess. I'd better clean it up or I'll be in big trouble, even though Mr. Boggs said not to clean this room. Hmm? Oh, meat stew. 
What a luxurious meal. We got some nice meat, so we didn't want to waste it. W waste it? Uh, did you finish cleaning upstairs? Yes, sir. And since the master came back, I thought maybe I should wash all the clothes? No, no need. But it's nice to clean the linens at least once a month, sir. And also, it's good to get rid of bloodstains as soon as possible. <laughs> Yes, sir. I went into the master's room and I saw the stain on the nightgown and I don't know anything, sir. Nothing at all. I'm just doing my job, sir. That's a lot of meat, sir. That's rather too much meat. <sighs> Is this lamb? I doubt you've ever eaten this kind of meat before. <laughs> What is this meat? Uh, I don't know. I just cook whatever Mr. Boggs brings down. I do. Brings down? From where? Where is the master, sir? And what do you do every night, sir? Yes, sir! I saw you covered in blood. And last night, you were dragging something down from the master's room, sir, in a big bag. What was it, sir? Was it... Was it the master's body? <laughs> you killed the master and you brought his body down here for Mrs. Cook to make soup out of it! We are eating human meat! We're eating the master's body! You're strange. Sir Montague is a good hunter, right, Mrs. Cook? Very good indeed, Mr. Boggs. So that's what you were carrying down the stairs? These animals? I don't know what to say. I'm glad Sir Montague is okay. But... Now, how come I've never seen so much meat in this house before? Well, you only get a full moon once a month. What do you mean, full moon? 